today man we did get new packs in nba 2k 23 man which means we do need to go over the new snipe filters we're gonna go ahead and rip a pack for the culture before we get into it of course we get a ruby which is gordon Dragic, man all right let's get into the filters but first for the most reliable and cheapest 2k23 mt hit up my sponsor at nba2king.com and use code grinds for five percent off the first filter we're going to go over is the glitch filter set your theme to glitch find the cheapest one which at the moment on xbox is going for about six thousand you want to go ahead and bring your maximum buyout down to about five thousand and just keep refreshing man and snipe anything that pops up all right man we got a snipe on the next filter that's a dub man uh, what you want to do the next filter is set your color to amethyst your theme to season two scroll up till you find the cheapest one which should be for like 70k oh another snipe man that's crazy bro i'll take that so about 70k what you want to do is just work this scroll man just like this <clears throat> obviously snipe joe dumars if he pops up for you know 50k and below 60k and below even um and then resell him for 70k as well as you can pipe snipe jimmy butler if he pops up on this scroll as well as alan iverson obviously if he pops up on this scroll pick him up man this is a w filter all right the next filter we're going to go over set your color to amethyst your theme to season one you want to go ahead and buy mark Peer price and enable him and send any of these other expensive amethysts from season one out of your collection so they will still pop up and you want to scroll up to about eighteen thousand four hundred fifty. so you work in this three scroll like this man really it's a two scroll because the cars are going to pop up in between these two so just keep refreshing man obviously snipe rondo for you know 12k and below snipe boogie for 12k and below somewhere around there and then post those up for profit and then you want to snipe grant hill all those other expensive cars man carl malone trey young those can all pop up on here and snipe those if they pop up on the scroll uh mike and you want to snipe for like 15k or below if you're on xbox man just check all the prices everybody so you know what to snipe them for you want to pick them up about 20 to 30 percent cheaper than they are going for all right man we just got another snipe man for the next filter set your name this is the michael porter jr hard scope man what you want to do is set your name to michael porter jr find the cheapest one which on xbox right now is going for about sixty-two thousand. you want to go ahead and bring your maximum buyout down to about 55 50 000, somewhere around there 55 is still a snipe it is profit it depends how much profit you guys want to make Set it to 55,000 and just keep refreshing. As you saw, we just got that one for 44,000. That is crazy, man. I will take that. Okay, man. The next filter we're going to go over is the Diamond Ferocious filter. Set your color to diamond, your theme to ferocious. Find the cheapest one, which should be about 62,000 on Xbox, 63,000. James Harden and RJ Barrett both sell for around this price point. So what you want to do is pick, work this scroll, pick those cards up if they pop up for, you know, 55,000 and below and resell them for 62,000. As well as if you see Cat pop up on this scroll, you want to pick him up immediately as he is still still selling for almost 100k. The next filter we're going to go over is the Ruby filter, man. This filter has been going absolutely insane with the new lock-in and just everything is crazy. And this new eerie cards, which you want to do is set your color to Ruby. Find the cheapest one, which on Xbox is going for about 5850 right now. They are down in price because of packs. What you want to do is go ahead and work this scroll, man, as there are still some more expensive rubies in the game, man. You want to go ahead and pick those up if they pop up. Otherwise, snipe any other ruby for about 5000 and below and resell them for profit. Or you can hold on to them and sell them in a couple days, probably for 7K. Okay, man, we just got a nice little snipe there. Um, this filter, we'll go ahead and put it in the video, man. The next filter we're going to go over is the Curry Hard Scope, man. Set your name to Stephen Curry. Scroll down to the cheap as well, <clears throat> which is all the way down to about 4,000 right now. You just want to refresh, work this scroll. Obviously, you get an Ami Diamond or Pink Diamond Curry to pop up. You snipe them at this price point. Um, hopefully, this filter goes back up in price as it was. He was selling the sapphire curry was selling for about 9k the next filter we're going to go over is the pink diamond filter set your color to pink diamond set your minimum buyout to 500 and go ahead and refresh man these will get bought up eventually uh, but right now what you can do if you can either you know buy him and enable him or you can bring your minimum bid all the way up to 100k so that way you're just working a one scroll at the moment or you can just work the four scroll that's not too too bad either man just keep refreshing on here um you want to go ahead and avoid Joe Johnson. Other than that, pretty much everyone is a snipe. The next filter we're going to go over is the Allen Iverson hardscope. You might want to work this at like later in the week, not right now. It's up to you guys, man. 
we're gonna see what he ends for man I'm, i went ahead and bid on this one for if i get it for 100k i'll be happy he's gonna go back up in price at some point so what you want to do typically is set your minimum buyout to 500 and just keep refreshing but like i said monitor his price because right now he looks like he's selling for right around 100 maybe we'll see uh, but just check and make sure he is going for at least like 140 before you work this filter so that way you make profit if you snipe him man Okay, man, the last filter we're going over is this one right here. We just got a double refresh, you could call it, I guess. Uh, what you want to do is head over to your consumables tab, set your card type to shoe boost, your color to gold, put your maximum buyout to 250, man, and just scroll through every time and see if there's any that are up in price, man, like, or not up in price, like, go for more, like, ball handle, like, I just got vertical, goes for, like, 1,000, man, there's a lot, a lot of gold shoe boosts that sell for 700, 1,000, man, and people throw them up for 250 all the time, man, this is a WW filter, this could even be a snipe, um, um, I'll pick it up and just see um, just keep refreshing on here man you gotta know the snipe pretty much just pick any good ones that you think up and then check their pricing because obviously it's only 250 MT that is the end of the video man I hope that you guys did enjoy it if you did hit that like button for me man you guys have a blessed day J grinds out if you're looking for another great video go ahead and hit the video that's on screen man It's guaranteed a banger